Hello, I'm George Hayes, and today's tutorial is going to be how to use MeanGW's compiler with SDL 2.0 and Glue and OpenGL to render to multiple screens. Um, what I actually won't be teaching you how to do as far as in this video is how to set up Glue and so forth. To that effect, as far as for the project, you will need to go back and watch the videos I've got originally as far as for setting up uh, OpenGL and SDL and glue and so on like that. In this we're just going to be covering how to actually code in the part so you can get the windows open and there's a couple different methods in, in it as far as for doing it and we're going to start off with this method here as far as for showing what I'm talking about and you'll see we have two windows open right now on it. this one and this one here and we am going to close them down and go back to code blocks as far as through here and that's basically it's just two windows start as far as on it now what we're going to do is go ahead and line out these and recompile and we're switching over to to borderless windows at full screen resolution here all right for each one and they're set to perspective display areas all right so build and run and as you can see it's displaying in both windows probably about now there's a little bit of a delay so I'm kind of guessing when this actually shows up as far as the screen window on it because the recording software has to switch from the desktop view to the game view and stuff like that as far as when it's actually the different ones when I do this so bear with me if I'm off a little bit I apologize alright now that I've got that set up what I am going to show you, you can't do is use two full screen windows Alright, so in OpenGL and SDL, you have this SDL full screen. You can't set two context windows up to that effect. Alright, you'll only get the last of the two. Alright, as in what happened here, this one here is the one that's showing over here right now. So, I will show you how to use that though with another project I have on here in this video let me just rebuild this real quick so when I come back to it in a few minutes we will be set up already alright so let's go ahead and close this project down and open this one here alright in this project here this is the basic one if you're following along with how to do the setup with or OpenGL glue and stuff like that. This is the project at the beginning that I create with the triangle and it's no difference. Alright. So here it is. It creates the red triangle in the window. And it's using the full screen mode. Now, if you remember from the other video, when we did the second one showed up as far as second context window it showed up as far as in the right hand side and you should be seeing a red triangle about now and that is over there as far as in the right hand screen now I'll set this back to zero and we're going to change this to 3840 and then I'm going to try and explain some of this and why it happens. Alright, this should be having a red triangle somewhere about now showing up as far as covering both full screens as far as in this video. Like I said, I'm having to guess kind of when stuff is showing up. And anyway, now that we got that up, we don't need to sit there and stare at a red triangle for too long. Go back to 1920 because on here rebuild and 
we seen this is the same one we had at the beginning of this little area here so it should be up and we can close back out of it and let's go down here and look at why all this happens SDL and OpenGL as far as in regards to with Windows treats your screens as one giant screen all right so your resolution as far as form is zero across to whatever they happen to value they add up to in my case I'm using right now 21920 by 1080p monitors and so my resolution it goes from sorry points or values as far as on it goes 0 over to 3839 and 0 to 1079 all right now if if like in the first project I was showing you with the two windows my first window is 00, zero goes over to 1919 by 1079 and second window O oh, started at 1920 goes over to 3839 however you aren't required to sit there and do that all right because the screens aren't dependent upon it so you could actually set a screen up that comes over to like here and then have one screen start here and go over to here or you could have three screens and divide it up and if you had three monitors you could put it into three monitors you know so however you choose to do it, it allows you a lot of flexibility as far as in it with that way using the now using the single full screen you are limited to creating your views as far as in regards to that full screen now with this OpenGL you can create um, different rendering context as far as in it and then ha divide up the screen and have that you know be displayed for different portions of your screen now that's up to you as far as how you deal with that as far as with OpenGL I'm just showing you how to get OpenGL set up to where it cover can be used for multiple screens with SDL all right now this where do I want to start off here we go all right basically since this is an original project it just has a one window one context one object and then initializes the window sets it to the context and then we load the object and all in here then event handling loop render all right where we display render and then clean up to one window so let's go ahead and go back to here and close project and open the other one back up because there's more stuff we can do here all right as we said you know this one you sit there and as far as you have the flexibility as far as doing stuff we can bring these open here again rebuild and we should see two triangles covering the screens again now as I said we can make some changes here so let's change this out to 2300 this to 2300 and this one to 1540 all right and that will make one wider screen and one narrower screen and they should be visible about now so as you can see there's a large green triangle and a you know, smaller blue triangle all right and we don't have to just go that way we can sit there and go something like this 960 960 and change this to 960 and we can put them both on one single screen say hopefully I left enough time for those to show up again now I'll tell you what I'll go ahead and run through both of those prospects again this one again just make sure I'm not sure if I had it up long enough it should be visible probably by now but in case you didn't see it so there was two screen two screens combined onto one screen so you could go through and 
make these into three or four or five or whatever you can handle I think it's up to like five or so with SDL um, not sure I haven't tried so you know it's something for you to try out yourself then as far as you can set your resolutions as far as on these to what you need and adjust it for your monitors or whatever type of view you need it for you know maybe you're wanting to create a stereo view as far as on a single monitor you know and you need to where you can render two different contexts and not all, everything to it uh, or two slightly two scenes from two slightly different viewpoints be an easy way to sit there and do it all right so anyway I hope you liked the video and found it informative and hope it gets you going as far as using multiple monitors and please like subscribe and thank you very much for watching